Fine. Hello, guys. <laughs> Police in Halifax. Um, joined today with uh, Ghost Raiders, Lost Soul Paranormal, uh, also MOD Paranormal UK. Uh, <coughs> I'm on the verge of filming for MOD Paranormal UK, helping them out with a bit of extra footage. Uh, hopefully, you'll see this. Bit of footage, if not, bit more of it. Anyway, let's crack on. We'll get something set up, and we'll catch you in a bit. Me. 
because I'm wondering if that was reflecting on my light. So if you point it towards my camera, mm. point the lens towards my camera, and then go back again. No, it wasn't that there. No. But we'd seen some, I saw something there earlier. And I saw something up, up there earlier. Have we just seen you? Have we just seen you near the window? That just said your name. Alec. It's just screamed your name. Yeah, he said, get out, Alec. Get out. Michael. Can you film it? Hi, Alec. It's okay. Did you want me to... He's rude. He's rude. I'm sure he said he's rude. Yeah. He's rude. Don't do it, Alec. Nasty. Nasty! Nasty! I'm not why, nasty. Why don't you like Alec? Did you... Was you going to say something to now turn the camera on? No, okay. I, I was just coming over here okay. so I didn't want to get any shots. No, I don't mind that. Are you listening? Well, I'm bad. Husband. <laughs> well, actually, you've probably got that right. <laughs> You're walking out. <laughs> Now that how much of an arsehole you are. It's your said love. Look. Just said love. Look. Are you taking the mix, Rick? Me. Oh. Why don't you like Alec? Thinks he's awesome. Thinks he's awesome. Thinks he's awesome. Is that true, Alec? I must be awesome then. Oh, that was speaking with please. Can you tell us your name? Please tell us your name. It'd be nice to know who we're speaking with. Are you in this room with us now? I'm standing a, a back. <coughs> Are you at the back of the room? I heard something in the corner. Really? Yeah, I don't know. But there's nothing <coughs> there. <coughs> from where it came from, you know, it's, there's no floor, it's the stairs. Yeah. <coughs> Annie, is that you coming through? <coughs> she, she wants to come in as well. Box, so, 
whilst Alan's set up, we'll do this and then we'll, we'll carry on with the rest of the investigation through the night. Sure. Sure. So, Annie, if you're here, did you just touch my hair? Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> you started being really touchy feely. Do you just touch my hair on my shoulder just to let me know that you're here? Anne, can you bring forward any of the other children that's here? Yes. 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 I mean, I'm here. But I suppose it's sort of like even like good luck. <laughs> How many are here, Anne? Even though I've she's a, a vessel, should we call her, the doll, is actually in the car. Yeah. I think she's probably coming in here as well. I don't think she'll be sort of connected and stuck no. around that. I mean, it's like sort of Simon's brother's come through, which he did the other week, didn't he? Yeah. But he's coming through in our living room, but saying he's in the pub getting drunk, which he's actually yeah. done that before. So obviously, and he's saying it's going any better than me, how he believes to do it. That they're not sort of took to, took to an area they're able to sort of communicate yeah. from elsewhere if they want to come through and talk to you, which I think is good, mm. that they're not actually tied and stuck in a specific location or building. Or no, I don't think they are. So, who's here right now with us, please? Are they going to apologise to Alec? I'm not sure, sure they said dick. dick head. No, they said dick. dick head. head. <laughs> I really don't like you, Alex. No, I don't do this. I thought there was a man here who didn't like women and not vice versa. <coughs> Have you made you realise that, you know, you don't like women, so you're not going to pick on me tonight because my husband's bad enough? <coughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I thought it like, well, I know. <laughs> well, I suffered enough. Not really. Yeah. You'll see a, what used to be a door there. Yeah. And apparently the steps came down yeah. from there, straight down and led to the outside. So straight you yeah. understand the boats. Yeah, yeah, so basically straight down here. Straight down from there. And straight through and this straight. floor. It's here now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that was the top step. That, that was the where top the cat wall is, yeah. that was the top step. Right. And it went down yeah. and then came to the outside of the building. Right. So that's the original outside wall. So this this down here is the original outside wall. Yeah. So those steps. This this is a, this this is the original outside window. Yeah. yeah. on our CCTV of, um, I, I'd like to say it's an orb, but if there's one, there must be a million. Mm. And they sort of come out of the fireplace. Now, it's not, it's not dust motes because it doesn't happen every night and it doesn't happen specifically on a windy day or anything like that. Mm. It's just quite random, but it just looks like it's coming out from where the, the Ingle Nook fireplace is yeah. and then undulating all the way. It's like it's like smoke, like flames. Right. That's what it looks like. And it comes all the way on here. Mm. And what I've noticed is when that particular thing happens, we also get a lot of activity 
in the function room, just to the other side of that door, mm. we get a lot of strange orbs, and we also get a lot of action just here. Um, I've got on uh, on film what actually looks like footprints. It looks like somebody's walking. They're like orbs, but they're like a footprint shape, and they come out and across here. Now, as I said, this this as as long as uh, sorry this. If, a few years ago was a solid wall mm. is what I'm trying to say yeah. but uh, whether it was completely different in the original building we don't know mm. but these things all happen at the same time it seems like everything converges just here mm. um, I will show you that footage right. I will show you that. Yeah. there is also um, and we spoke about this earlier the chair incident that yeah. almost hit you it did it yeah. did it's quite a square, scary moment so that was back in here wasn't it yeah and that was so where were you actually so where this table is now so you were sat here so the table wasn't there we had like two or three chairs and i was right. i was sitting maybe there there on that maybe there yeah. yeah and it was it was and the chair seemed to come down from upstairs yeah. but the strange thing is there were no chairs upstairs that day no chairs whatsoever um now we did move that maybe it had flown over from over in that corner and come up in the air and then down. Right. Uh, or for some reason it had come down from up there, but there were no chairs up there. Right. Makes and, more um, sense if it's. Well, I thought it, it appeared to me because it it didn't drop straight down. It came at me at an right. angle. So, so it would make more sense, for it it to, be make more there, sense yeah. to have flown from there. Right. Um, right. As I say, I said. As far as I'm concerned, mm. I'm 99.99% that that was entirely genuine because there was only eight people in the building when that happened and everybody was here with, you. with me. Right. And you've been upstairs yourself, you can't sneak anywhere in here with no, a creaky floorboard. It is, yes, it is very, very creaky. I will uh, admit yeah. to that. Um, have you asked if I've actually witnessed anything? Some of them, because, but some of them never. Because your lady that was with us tonight who yeah. served us as meal mm. didn't seem particularly keen on staying in this side of the pub. No, and a lot of staff don't like it down yeah. here. Quite a lot of them will yeah. say, do I have to work in the function room? I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but we've got members of staff who say that they feel fine, but I do believe it. it's... Uh, how sensitive you are as a person. Mm. I think if you're receptive, then yeah. you see, you, you experience more. But that's in my experience. I say I've got members of staff who've, who've worked here for like four years and said never felt a thing. Right. And then I've got others who just start and the straight first thing they see is a spirit. Yeah. You know. So it seems to be that ninety nine percent of stuff happens in here. Yeah. Yeah. Does anything happen through there in the other part? Yeah, we have a few bits. Apart from obviously the fireplace, we have yeah. the fire. Yeah. I mean, Got and we've got, we, we have some, some goings on here with a child and two adults in the tram. But yeah, do it to you. Oh, excuse me. Um, not a lot in the lounge. Not a lot through there, right? No, quite a lot upstairs in the private living accommodation. Right. There's quite a lot goes on up there. Right. Um, so I think that those are the, the most active places, upstairs and in there. Yeah. And when you talk about the function room, it's specifically upstairs. Yeah. Well, I, it, I mean, has anybody got any questions that they'd like to ask Christine? Well, <coughs> we've got Christine, you know, is there anything that I might have forgot? And Wendy? What's Wendy? been your scariest moment, Christine? Sorry? What's been your scariest moment? Has there been anything that The scariest really moment you? was definitely the flying chair. Was it? Definitely, because I'm quite laid back about it. I wasn't for the first few weeks when I first ever moved in, but you soon get used to it. And, and you, you, when I'm upstairs, you, it's quite often you're never alone. There's somebody right. with you. You can you can just sense it. Mm. And what I tend to do is just speak to them. Yeah. I always let them know that it's there. They live here, and we're only visitors. Mm. You know, so uh, I think it's important that you do that. I think you get them on side then, yeah. and they don't do anything nasty <coughs> yeah, to you, definitely. apart from throw chairs. <laughs> and do you know anything about that little girl you were telling me about, Eleanor? Or I don't is that know, all I just, you know, I've no history behind her, but mm. she just, I've been conscious of her ever since I first ever mm. came here. I've been conscious of her, um, particularly strong about four years ago. 
it was an almost a daily occurrence and every time I walked down there there was this bright light and and this feeling of happiness giggliness a little like a little child yeah and where was this in the bar area or sorry do you just see her in the bar area or do you see her in just, various just just down in the, the function room, room. yeah right. just down there mainly around about where the dance floor is right around that area now we did hear a bang we were upstairs we were yeah. upstairs doing the live stream at the beginning of obviously the, the night yeah. And we heard a massive bang in the yeah. downstairs from the dance floor area. Yeah. And we shot down, checked that there was nobody in the yeah. area, nobody in the area. Um, the doors were shut because there's only two doors. One goes to a storage and one yeah. goes to, to the, the fire, fire exit, yeah. which is obviously, you can't get in through no. that door. You can only get out through yeah. that door. And um, Did you say they were both shut? Yeah. Because they were open before we went up. Were they? Yeah. They're both open because there's boxes of toys or something in the one. Well, something shut them doors. Well, that might be what you heard then. Oh, yes. Because yes. it was yeah. open. Yeah. And there was Which no... door was open? The, <coughs> the storage where all the boxes full of yeah. Big, yeah. stacks of yeah. plastic toys. Yeah. Uh, not toys. Storage. Yeah. Yeah, that was open. That was open. Yeah. Right, because. I definitely closed that before you. Do you remember when you first arrived and I went down in the function and then came to talk to you here? Yeah. When I went down, I closed the kitchen door and closed the storage door. No, that was wide open. There you go. <laughs> how many years have you been here, Christine? <coughs> Sorry, how many years have you been here, Christine? Oh, God, Christine? I've known the pub for 30 years. I first ever managed it. 30 years? In 93. But then... Um, a lot of pubs were sold off at that time and they went from being managed to tenanted and vice versa. So I had a whole different career. But I always worked part time here for a good six years after I left from managing it and then took it again in 2016. But it's always been my local. I lived just across the bottom of the garden. So you've had quite a few years to experience quite, yeah, all this, haven't 30 yeah. years experience, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I have the coat. <laughs> so I feel like I'm all, almost fixtures and fittings. Because <laughs> I'll be honest, I mean, we've really only been here a few hours and we are experiencing quite a bit, aren't we? Yeah. So it's like, how have you put up with that for all this time? <laughs> it's, um, I don't know, I don't know what it is. That I've noticed we, we carry out quite a few paranormal investigations. And, and I think I've, I've mentioned this before specifically to you that when it's a paranormal investigation group and they just bring loads of guests with them, yeah. paying guests, it turns into more of a floor show, you know, so the, the activity is very quiet, mm. but a lot of it's hyped up. Mm. But when it's a really small team like you, we find we get loads. Mm. So whether it's that the resident spirits actually more enjoy somebody who's serious about it, somebody who's... Who cares what you know? What they're investi about what they're investigating, rather than being a sideshow. If you know yeah. what I mean, when mm -hmm. it's paying guests, mm -hmm. so it's just my theory is that. But I have noticed it very quiet for the bigger groups and a lot more active for the smaller groups. But I think that's it. I think it's the sideshow aspect. I think it's like well, not playing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's actually not what people's intentions are. Yeah. And if they come in sort of to take me and sort of to create things just for benefit of the guests who are paying, you know, I suppose probably think, oh, this isn't right, they shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. You know, oh, I'll uh, we'll 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 just go and set up, see what we're going to do next. Oh, uh, Simon, did I have a pop? Should be a pop on side. I've drunk one. I'm yeah. really, really thirsty. Oh, yeah. I'll just, just ask Christine. I haven't got me water. Where do you want me? Well, wherever you want to be. You know, what are we doing first? Just call it out. Any ideas? We're just going to call out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, I need to put my light on. Are yeah. you got uh, the night vision on, Al? Al? Hey. Have you got the night vision camera
I tried to pick the clown one up on my way up because we were at the Swan, weren't we, that yeah. weekend? But yeah, the clown had gone. gone, sold out everywhere. Mm. Okay. It's an adult doll, you wouldn't buy that for a child. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. right. Okay, so we're going to start by calling out. So if there are any spirits here that would like to obviously communicate with us, we've got multiple oh, bits of equipment yeah. out. We've got the laser grid. If you want to walk through the laser grid, make the lights disappear. On the stairs, we've got the Trip 36, which will change colour when you go near it. Uh, obviously, it won't change colour for me, but it will change colour for you. Uh, with the EDI over on the table over there and we have um, what is this? a K2 over there on the table and also we brought from home it's the creepy doll on the rocking horse that Maybe we can get some interaction with, we don't know. We can always hope and try and pray. But if there are any spirits that would like to try communicating with us tonight, please feel free to make a bang, make a tap, walk towards us, touch, hug, poke, blow, whatever you want to do. I also have a touch lamp over. Where have you put that hole? Just, Just here. There. there. And just want to explain how it works. Um, yeah, you literally have to touch it to turn it off. Is that it? Yeah. It is a Harry Potter one. Right, we, won't, we won't hold you, you know, blame you for that. Right. Boom. Boom. Okay. If you want to interact with that, please feel free to do so. You've seen how it works. You just touch it and it will light up. But if you want to maybe walk down the stairs, walk across the floor upstairs, it is a very old building and all the floor was creak. Vincent. Don't Vincent you? again. We've had Vincent. The name come through. Vincent. We've had Vincent. What oh, aren't we on the yeah. spirit box earlier? That's on the ghost tube app. Right. Um, it's quite an unusual name as well. It's not. You don't hear Vincent said every day. While I was no, talking I just then, did, we hear, did anybody hear a creak? Yeah, I did. You did. I Thank you. I thought it was something down here. You thought it was down here? Yeah. Can you do that again for us, please? I'll just stand. Is that Vincent who's trying to let us know that he's here? Now, Vincent is, <coughs> did you say, because Christine is also here, did you say that there was a bloke called Vincent who died in a motorbike well, accident? We had a previous investigation team who picked up on somebody called Vincent who lived in the houses just across the road right. and was killed in a motorbike accident at a very young age right. in around about 1974 right whether it's the same vincent or vince mm. i don't know and that was around the pub weren't it where it happened no it? i lived near the, the pub and he frequented the pub it was his doctor local do you think it's, it's it was his local this place then yeah the pub. oh wow right okay yeah. so he's probably popped in for a pint then <laughs> we damaged also We've also Damaged. got upstairs, we've also got the motion sensors. If you walk through the motion sensors, you'll set them off. Uh, the REM pod, I think, is still upstairs. Uh, please interact with some of this equipment. It's yours for, for using. It doesn't harm you in any way, shape, or form. We always, like we always say, we come with the utmost peace, peace, love, and respect. Ghost Tube said, Why? Why do you want to use this equipment? Well, why not? We, we, want, we want to know we want, that there is proof of the afterlife. Yes, we want to capture the ultimate proof that ghosts, spirits exist. And by you interacting or appearing as a shadow figure or in full form apparition, gives us the proof. Ray. Ray. Funny. <laughs> funny. Ray funny, yeah. Are you laughing at me, Ray? <laughs> it's, uh, Ray is Simon's oh, brother. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, Simon's brother. Yeah. Probably in the tub. Again, playing pool. Oh, I love it, yeah. Yeah. You're having a pie, Ray, Ray? Ray, Ray, you are more than welcome to come through and play pool here. 
I'm just going to walk upstairs. I'll, bring, I'll tell you what, I'll bring the spirit box back down with me. Yeah, the trip 36. You want us to follow you? You the speckle more you know, than you know, the I'm just watching the bottom right hand corner. Mm. Um, and something keeps interrupting the lights down there, is it? Oh, right. Bottom right hand corner, if you watch. Oh, Every so often it this it looks like something's gone between whatever's projecting it and the actual lights on the wall. The sun's got the green lights on so I'm just going to sit They sort of keep fading away in that in that bottom corner. So is there a here that is walking in? in front of me, near those lights, can you do that again? What's that? What have I missed? Aha! There is a light, I don't know if that was you, I've just seen one flickering out actually. Oh, yeah. On the edge of that table. If there's a spirit here... Can I just try something? Yeah, go on. I'm going to walk back downstairs. Yeah. Right, so... You might have to be a bit further up because you was actually further up away quite down the stairs. How far is it? Yeah, that there. Yeah, I'm just going to walk down like I did. Yeah. I'm just to make sure there's no vibration from me. No. No. Right. Okay, so I first up. noticed it before you went upstairs. You first noticed yeah. it? Yeah. Can you, can you make any more of the lights disappear? Can you make all of them disappear? Be a feet. Can you kill your life um, Yes, I'm just... need to kill one as well. Ah, uh, so trapped. Just, yes. Oh, I can't even see them on there. Oh, I can't, it's okay. Yeah, uh, make some of those lights disappear. You walk in front of those lights, we'll see you. Do you hear that? Yeah, I heard something, I don't know why you're on there. I'm coming from over here. Where were they? Oh. Would you describe it as like a breath? Mm. Where? Sort of over here somewhere. Oh, near these doors. Mm -hmm. Is there somebody over here? Is there somebody over here trying to get our attention? Are you able to do that again? Uh, I've been told it sounds like a breath. Be able to breathe again? That might be it. I'm not sure if that was the laces. Right, I've just seen another one on here. Yeah. I've just seen a couple more lights go out. That was you. Have you seen it in the bottom right hand corner as well? Huh? Is it the bottom right hand corner? It was more. I'm just going to walk over and I'll show you. Yeah. It was actually down here. Yeah, it's that's like, where I'm seeing it. Is yeah. it really there? That's, that's really cool. It's so only it, a few of them the lights go out. One more time, just to confirm it's you. Please. I won't ask again if you can do that for me one more time, just to confirm. Is that anybody over here tapping? Mm -hmm. Wherever it was, came from over there. Well, I definitely heard that tap. Watching. <laughs> are you watching us? If you are watching, where are you watching from? Are you here with us down here or are you upstairs watching from over the railing up there? Make a noise to let us know where you are. Can you make a noise to let us know where you are, please? We had what we thought earlier on in the night, or what well, I didn't actually see it because I was pointing as I always am in the wrong direction. But we had Mimi said that she saw a figure walk across that wall and it went from the edge of the window 
across the window and across that wall. So if there is a spirit up here that is able to do that again, can we just turn the lights on? Don't have to kill them completely, but you will interact with the laser grid. Oh, shadow is it? Is that all it? Yeah. What shadow? Huh. That one? Yeah. That's me. Well, that would debunk that. It's been all it. Oh, am I affecting it? Am I no, 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 you're not affecting it. We're just trying to figure out that it's, it's your shadow in the corner there. Oh, moth glasses. Right. I've lost my glasses. Go on, spirits. I've been walking across this wall earlier. I've seen you twice. Appear as a white light around the window. Minnie's seen you as well. Can you show yourself to us now, please? The moth is playing around with the lights. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is a few moths up here. It will, though, yeah. It will be drawn to the light. We'd love to see you. Can you walk through the lights, please? I won't hurt you. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk that downstairs. Yeah. And then it's going to appear. So. If you can't walk through the lights, or if you don't want to walk through the lights... Walk towards the sound of my voice. Walk down this gang gangway here towards the sound of my voice. There is a, there is a set of motion detectors on the floor here. In front of me, if you walk towards me, you should set them off. If you don't want to go near the lights or walk towards us, can you make a tap or a bang for us, please? Are you not wanting to be filmed? You've been active all night and you started filming. Starting to be shy. Do something to let us know that you're here, please. We were downstairs, you were making noises upstairs, we've come upstairs to talk to you, and now you don't want to talk. Can't say that you're shy. Move the ball on the table. There's a ball on the table over there. If you move it, it'll light up. Do you want us to move to another part of the building? Can you make a noise if you do? Can you make a loud noise for me to confirm that I did see you earlier on in that corner? Oh, what was that? What was that? What is that? There's a moth floating around. Oh, is it? Yeah. Damn! <laughs> Where? By the, it's above the lights. table. Damn. It's that moth that's setting them off there. Yeah. We've debunked that as being a moth. I think that one was downstairs, actually. Yeah. Are you still down there, Christine? No, she wants some coffee. Ah, shit. Right, well, we, we, we can't have the laser grid in that corner if the moth's going to be flying around because no. all we're going to be getting is <coughs> contaminated evidence because it's just going to be a moth that's just going to be <coughs> literally setting, setting it off. Yeah. So, I think the spirit box is downstairs, isn't it? Did you take it down? Yeah. It's been really active, spirit box. I think what we can do is we can go down and we can try the spirit box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I've done a spirit box up here. Do a spirit box up here. It's been really active, haven't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll get the spirit box.